All right, so I want to explore something. I would like to give it a better look when I look this engine before it can go into the car. I just want to feel, I want to have that certain feel. That's what I want to do. Uh, I am not going to do some perfections. I am only going to give it a better look. So to do that, uh, I got this paint remover from Napa which they are literally just around the block. I want to get this one. That is what I am going to use to strip it out. It appears to be the most effective pencil remover for the engines and stuff, especially for automotive. They say this is the good pencil to use. Let's get started, but I first need to cover my hands. Where are my gloves? Right here. Okay, this is not the right spot to work on this. I have to put it away from everything else because I'm going to be dealing with chemicals and I don't want to contaminate stuff. So I'll drop it down here. All right, so I will cover the surface real quick and then I'll start applying the chemical. Let's, uh, let's do that. Most of this covered since I'm doing everything with my hands I'll be careful not to pass anything on top here so I should be fine with this covering doesn't have to be perfect what has been done here is good enough All right, so I'm going to start this side. So I'll get this, shake it a little bit. And... Hmm, it's smelling. And I'll drop it inside here. It's really thick and they say you don't thin it, you use it as it is. It's really thick. It takes about 45 minutes. So folks, this paint is very reactive and you can even see from the bottle, when I touch the bottle, look, you see, it's kind of melt the bottle that I'm using. It's very reactive. I mean, not a paint, but a uh, paint stripper. Alright, I've applied <laughs> I've applied the chemical. It is recommended that we leave it for 45 minutes and then we come back we start stripping off the paint. So I will leave it for 45 minutes 
they also recommend to cover it with a plastic bag so that is what I'm going to do I will cover it with a plastic bag Okay, so I left it for about 45 minutes or so and as I continue to look at the block, I don't think I need to do whatever that you saw me doing, uh, which is use uh, a brush, metal brush to take that out, um, which is what I should be doing or maybe not, but what I'm going to do is to pressure wash it because it looks like it can, everything can be removed with just a pressure wash. But because the brush that I'm using, I don't think it's doing the job, but what I will do, I will just pass a brush just for once so that I can scrape off everything that I can remove with a brush. And then if I find out some stuff are not taking, are not being removed when I pressure wash it, then I will go ahead and use um, this power tool. But for now, I believe that I don't need a power tool because at the end of the day, I don't need it to be 100% perfect as long as I can remove what was there and uh, I can paint it with the uh, color that I want to paint it. All right, this is how I got it after I don't know how many hours of cleaning and also wiping, cleaning it properly. This is how I got it. And I think this is ready for it to be painted. I don't want to go further than this because it's just a lot of work. But with the result I would like to achieve, this is good. Tomorrow I will come and prime it, leave it for another day, and then come and finish with the paint that I will use for the finished coat. Other than that, this is it for now. And uh, I'll go to sleep. I'll meet you tomorrow, which is pretty much just the next chapter of this video. Okay, after a lot of prep, I'm ready to finally get this chapter finished and move to the next chapter. So, let's get this going. Self-explanatory. You always have to prep when you are doing this job. If you don't prep properly, you will get a very bad finish, regardless whether you want to do it professionally or you want at least to get something done. You definitely do want to do a lot of prepping. So you saw what I did. I scrapped the paint that was here. We are almost, I would say, 90% bare metal. When you get to this stage at a bare metal, you don't want to go ahead and apply the final coat. You first have to apply the primer and then you apply the final coat. So, Let's start with the primer.
All right, I've applied the first coat. It's a very light coat. I don't want to go too heavy. I know there were some places where I overspray, but I don't want to go too deep with that. This is okay. And it says we have to wait 10 minutes and then we do another light coat. We wait another 10 minutes and we do a medium coat. And after that, we wait for about an hour and then we're going to apply the final coat because this one fully dries after an hour. So let's wait for 10 minutes, come do another coat and then we carry on with the painting. All right, 10 minutes has passed. It's time to go and apply another light layer and then we'll wait for another 10 minutes. We do a wet layer, which is a little bit heavier and then we wait for an hour and then we apply our last finished coat. All this work that I did over four days or so led to these meticulous results. I am very satisfied with the results that I got. I didn't expect to get to this level of perfection. Remember at the beginning I mentioned that I was not shooting for perfection, but man, I, I am myself speechless with the results. Anyways, I'm very glad that the results surprised me and it turned out really good. So we're done with this chapter. I'm very happy. Let's move to the next chapter. And uh, thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace out.